Lou from Sugarland has a question about a shower leak. Yeah, he had it done about a year ago, his shower. And he says, Lou writes, we noticed that water was coming from cracks in the grout to the weep holes outside. The shadow, this shower is like on the outside wall, right? He says, today I saw water coming from the weep holes and noticed cracks in the grout under the bench in the shower and a few surface cracks that are at eye level in some of the glass tile. Now, the installer, Tom, says it's a foundation issue, but we don't have any wall cracks. He says because there are hairline cracks in the brick veneer outside the home that this isn't a grout or workmanship issue. This is what the installer is saying. So, Tom, what are your thoughts on this? Well, I don't think it's a foundation problem either. I think it was, first off, grout is not waterproof. If they grout a, a, a surface that goes like this and then one like this, it moves. And that's a wall meets a floor or a bench meets a floor, you know, vertical and horizontal surface. It's going to move. And that's why I use more of a flexible caulking to seal that joint. <coughs> Excuse me. But it's not waterproof. All it is is supposed to make it stay cleaner and that kind of thing. Behind the bench, behind the tile, that's where all your waterproofing materials are, your pans, your, your hardy backer boards, your silicone spreads on the joints. I mean, you have all these different areas. That's where it doesn't breach, and that's where it's breaching. So what I would do would do a shower pan test on the uh, shower itself, and, you know, rule out if it's a foundation problem. It probably isn't. But you could also have, like, Due West come out and do an evaluation at no cost. And that way you can show the guy, hey, I had my evaluation and there's no foundation problem. Because if there is, then we need to get that addressed. But I just don't believe it is. And I believe that uh, because it's coming out the weep holes, that means it's heavy. It's a heavy loss. It's not just a few drops here and there that there's an issue with the with the shower and the way it was detailed. And so a shower pan test would be the quickest way to isolate that. Yeah, well, that, I would do a shower pan test first and see if it's going to be, if it's pouring out the weep holes, that's not a foundation problem. All right. Because that you, pan is flexible. That pan goes yeah. up the wall and it's it's 40 mil rubber. I mean, your foundation can move and move and move. And this <laughs> thing's just you'd have, a, you'd have a lot of foundation move before that's a problem. <laughs> no, it's not going to fail at all. It'll stretch here. It's like that Mr. Stretch Man when we were kids. Stretch, stretch Armstrong. Armstrong. Yeah. Right. You couldn't break it, although we tried. <laughs> all right. I'm more of a Play-Doh guy myself. But okay, All right. You got a, uh, got a question? We'd be happy to help you out. Just go ahead and visit homeshowradio.com. Uh, fill in the t ask Tom form. It's right there in the middle of the homepage. That's how you get your questions here. And we paste, place them on our, our Facebook page every day. We put them on our YouTube channel. And, of course, on homeshowradio.com where you'll find lots of other helpful videos.